Hi, today a quick follow-up to my LED prototype project and today I want to play around with RGB LEDs and I've done it already with the Arduino IDE and the ARPA 102 LED chips and today I use the same knowledge to build up an MQTT RGB steered LED strip so we can use our mobile phone and also the MQTT Android application called MQTT Dash to change the color of the LED prototype. And this is my setup for today. I have the ESP32 connected the ground to the ARPA 102 LED strips, the 5 volt rail and also the clock to the clock input line and the data line to the data input. And today I'm very pleased to announce another giveaway from analoglamp.com. So they also sponsors for this video another ESP32 for a giveaway. And it's either a ESP32 development board or an ESP32 module. And please read the terms and conditions in this video and in the description to be part of the giveaway. So let's start by open our Android application and I start the MQTT dash and then I connect automatically to my MQTT server and I can press the LED icon and change the color. So maybe a little bit red or just use a yellow tone or more a white color or just a little bit cyan or a turkeys type now yellow again and more green maybe or what have you so switch back to red or a brownish yellow so a little bit blue or we can also use the test functionality so we have some random LED blinking lights switching to the sides blinking on and off doing a round trip back and forth some random blinking again and now faster and faster and also we can have some fading lights that's just a technology demo so we can also test our light and also after the testing we can switch back to some kind of magenta color or even a yellow one. And now some words about the OpenHub2 integration and certainly we can use the encrypted access to OpenHub2. In my last video I'm not aware that we have also the self-signed SSL encryption activated with our installation. So now I use the SSL location to open HAP2 and I just start my HAP panel and go to my dashboard and I already have installed a color slider for my LED and certainly I test this with a mosquito subscription and I subscribe to my special topic for today and that's the same as I use for my ESP32 and I use also the encrypted version with my user and my local password for this test. So let's start it and we already get the last message but if we now click here on the slider then you can see there the mosquito server responds with a special color 
message. And if we use maybe pure red and we go to full saturation and a brightness of 0.5 maybe, then we can achieve that the red color is just printed out and it's nearly ff hexadecimal so we can see the red color is fully on and it's the same as we see in our color picker and maybe the same with blue so we see nearly we have this full blue on and the same with fully green it's the same so if i be able to slide in the right spot then we also can see that we nearly reach the 250 55 value or hexadecimal ff and now i show you how i achieved this i configured a color item for my color picker this is this item and then i also introduce a string and the string send out the mqtt message to my special topic. It's the same here as you see here. And I also use a rule to calculate the RGB value from the HSB or UE saturation and brightness. And then I also add a hashtag like in this message. So if we get LED RGB one and If this is changed, then I get the HSB type value and I calculate from the red, the green and the blue value. I have to multiply this by 255 and divide this by 100. And then we get our string and then I format it in the hexadecimal output format. And then I send this command to my second item, the MQRGB one. This is this item and this item is from type string and this send out this message to my mosquito server. And it sends all commands that I used in this send command function. And I already tested also an incoming message with the same topic, but today I've also a strange behavior. So if I activate this, I go also into a endless loop. So I have to do some more research. So I can show you my rule, this is working, but unfortunately this produces an endless loop. So if I activate the last post update, then we get an endless loop. So this is the same and opposite. I get the red, green and blue value from my MQTT message, then calculate the integer value from the hexadecimal value. And then I use this from RGB function from the HSB type to calculate the HSB value. And then I post this to my color picker. Maybe we just try it, I show you. I open it in my editor, then remove the remark. And now let's see what's going on. If I pick some of the colors, then we see the colors are changing and we not only get one message sometimes, sometimes it's very weird. It's sliding between until it reached zero. So sometimes a little bit funny. <laughs> what's going on. Okay, that's it, the open hub two part. And here's also the source code for the Eclipse IDE and the Extensa compiler and also the ESP IDF, the IoT environment. So let's go a little bit through the code. And certainly I use my encrypted MQTT library. So Let's have a look. So we're starting by initialize our Wi-Fi connection and the MQTT task. And the MQTT task just do a connection to our Mosquito server. And I use my local Mosquito server. So sorry, I switch back to the front. So there, there you can configure your own Mosquito server and your own user and your own password and your own Mosquito port. And if you use WebSocket protocol, then you use one or zero if you don't use WebSockets. And then after 
initializing the Wi-Fi, reconnecting to our MQTT server and we do a network connection and a connection to our MQTT server and so on and just set the right username and password. And if we ready with our MQTT connection, we subscribe to a special topic for our smart LED prototype. And today I'm using quality of service number one. And the difference is we want really that our column messages arrives our MQTT device. And so I just experimenting with some different kind of quality of service and today I'm just using quality of service number one and not number zero. So some messages go through our de device and we successfully can interpret the messages. And then after we receive a message, we jump to our message handler. This is this function and the message handler just interpret the, the message and also the topic. And if our message begins with a hashtag, then we receive a color and then we extract the hexadecimal colors out of our message string. And so we get a red, green and blue part of our message. And also I've done a little bit experimenting with calculating the brightness, just correlating to our colors, but maybe you can adjust this small and crude formula. And then I create an extra task to steer the LED and I jump to the LED task and that's very small as you see here. And then we set our LED with red, green, blue and the brightness. So let's jump to here. And today I do something new. I experiment with C++. So this is a functionality inside a C++ function. Then I use an APA 102 class. And we can have a look in the into the APA 102 class. So this is just a copy and some little changes from my Arduino example, just wrapped around a C++ class and with the small changes to the ESP IDF. And you can have a look in this, but it's really the same as the Arduino sketch. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching today and I hope you find this useful and interesting and maybe learn something. If so, please give me a thumbs up and if you not already done so, please subscribe to my channel and I wish you a nice day. See you next time and bye bye.